Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm glad to have y'all here with me this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? Thank you for joining me this morning. Let's see. Yes, thank you. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hold on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Hi. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing this morning? Yes. How I many know God has been so good, so good, so good, you know? So good to, you know, you're thankful this morning. Thankful for... Just being up, you know, being able to get out the bed, being able to, um, you know, just, you know, just being able to talk, you know, to see, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's good, you know, to, you know, it's, it's good to, you know, just be thankful, be thankful, you know, we have so many things, we take so many things for granted sometimes, and, um, and uh, sometimes we have to, we we have to, you know, we don't really, we don't think about stuff. We just do. Good morning. Hi, my name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and I am a minister, author, motivational speaker, gospel artist. How are you doing this morning? How y'all doing this morning? Thank you for coming in to the morning word and worship with Sharice. Hi, good morning. You know, we can take a lot of things for granted sometimes. And we could take things, you know, you know, where we just go on about our day. We don't think about stuff that, you know, we should be thankful for. So, uh, <clears throat> I got, I'm still got a little cold and everything, so y'all forgive me. You know, I got that raspy, raspiness in my chest. And um, I wanted to say good morning to everyone. And um, today's word is, are you pleasing people or God? That's the topic I have for this morning. Are you pleasing people or God? You know, we get so much into, you know, getting people's acceptance, getting people's, um, you know, we want their opinion. We need their opinions. We need, you know, um, their, their, their word counts, you know. But um, the word says, I come out of Galatians this morning. Galatians 1 and 10. Galatians 1 and 10 reads, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Read that again. It says, Galatians 1 and 10. It says, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Cain, and then it says, I have another, uh, you know, another thing, you know, I go and I read a lot of stuff, and I'm going to read this to y'all, the daily devotional for the day. It says, Wednesday, February the 19th, I'm not trying to win the approval of people. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Thank you. Thank you for joining me this morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm not trying to win the approval of people. Galatians 1 and 10. Good morning. Good morning. It says, people pleasing. People pleasing does two things. People pleasing does two things. It makes you 
makes you neglect your own needs in order to meet other people's. And two, it causes you to make decisions based on their approval. Either way, you can end up feeling like a doormat. Maybe you became a people pleaser early in life to get the attention you craved and couldn't get any other way. Or maybe you never learned to trust your own judgment. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Um, trust your own judgment. The Bible says fearing people is a dangerous trap. Proverbs 29 25, because it always backfires. Not only do thing other not only do others get upset with you, you end up you end up disappointed with yourself when things don't work out. It says Peter struggled with people pleasing. No, the night before he the night before the crucifixion, a servant girl said, You were one of those with Jesus, but Peter denied it in front of everyone. I don't know what you're talking about, Matthew 26, 69, and 70. Afterwards, he ended up weeping over his failure. When Samuel confronted Saul about his decision not to completely destroy the Amalekites, 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 Saul admitted, I was afraid of the people and did what they demanded. 1 Samuel 15, 24. Paul, on the other hand, wrote, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me this morning. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be I would not be Christ's servant. It's good to be considerate, loving and patient, but you can't let yourself be intimidated. It's good to be considerate, loving, patient, but you can't let yourself be intimidated and manipulated. God has not given us the spirit of tim timid timidness, but of power. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. When you yield to the fear of others, you allow them, not God, to control your life. God doesn't want you to serve people out of fear, but out of love for them and, and him. <clears throat> Excuse me, I still got a little cold. Excuse me. So, oh dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning and we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for your word that you have bestowed upon us and laid in our hearts for today. Lord, we, we come to you humbly saying thank you for allowing us this one day, allowing us the breath in our bodies and activity of our limbs, and we are in our right minds just for today, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for we want to serve you and not man. We want to we want to please you, not man. We want to we want to do everything that is according according to your word and in decent and in order, Lord. And we thank you. We thank you for those gifts, the blessings that you bestowed upon us just this just this day, Lord. We thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. May you add a blessing to the reading of His word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, uh, me as a person. I'm always, you know, I, I know sometimes they say it's not good to talk about yourself, but sometimes it's good to, you know, you know, let people, you know, let people know what's going on in your life or what you've been through. So, and uh, I used to be a people pleaser. And my thing was, okay, I'm, I'm trying to make this person happy. I'm trying to make this person, oh yeah, okay, if I do this for this person, they'll like me. Or if I do this for that person, they'll like me. Or if... You know, and, and and then I always end up with the short end of the stick. I always ended up with the short end of the stick because me doing stuff for other people and when I thought that I would get, you know, like one hand, wash the other, my hand, you know, you know I wash your back, you wash my hand type of, you know, I try to take that kind of 
um, thought process with me during the uh, early parts of my life. And the thing is, I have learned that. Good morning. Thank you for Daniel. Daniel, thank you for joining me. And I and I realized that I had to start doing stuff not to please the pe not to please people. I had to do it to please God. And then I would I, I lay, you know later on in life I had I came to the acceptance of I can't sit around and people please everybody. You can't make everybody happy. You can't do it. It's impossible, child. Let me tell you, it's impossible. Because you keep pleasing the people, you keep doing stuff for folks, you keep doing and, and, and it's not it's not it's not a bad thing to, you know, do stuff for folks. Do it out of the kindness of your heart. You know, if God laid it on your heart to do it for the person, that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to do it for to show him through us. He wants to show it through uh, he wants us to show it. From him through us. And sometimes we have to get to the point where look. If it ain't sitting right with you. What the person asks you to do. There's always the word no. I mean there's nothing, nothing wrong with no. It's not, it's not really wrong with no. But if you ain't feeling that in your spirit. Don't do it you know. Don't do it because you're trying to. You're trying to make up for lost time with this person. Or you're trying to. Uh, make this person like you. Or, uh, you know, or you think that you got to be there for this person all the time. You got to be there for this person all the time. Then it's like, okay, like, um, you know, like, uh, you know, sometimes and we, I'm going to say it. Sometimes we, we think people, you know, we get that, at, we get that attitude that people think they, uh, that people, you know, like people, like we owe people stuff. Or, you know, we trying to make up for lost time or, um, Somebody owe you something, you know? No, we can't. We can't take that attitude. You know, it's it's like, look, okay, I did it. I blessed. I did it because God asked me to do it. I did it because it was just laid on my heart to do it. It's 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 a thing. Um, but then you also have to watch out for those that take advantage of that kindness, take advantage of your niceness, take advantage of your. Uh, they they take your kindness for weakness, you know, and it's 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 this thing of well um well I want you to do this for me and I want you to do this for me and then, then it's like um and then you find yourself you always doing something for somebody else but then when you need some help where they at <laughs> you know but we we try not to get into that mindset like that but sometimes that's where the flesh leads us. Where the flesh, when the flesh is leading us, we do stuff where we think somebody owes us because we do tit for tat, you know, and, and and we don't think that, uh, you know, if you don't do this for me, I ain't doing nothing for you, you know, or you owe me. And it's like, wait a minute, you know, but you have to, like I said, some people carry it like that with you. They're, they're you know, they, they're called, they're, it's, some people call leeches. Or they will, you know, they will use you and abuse you and get what they want and always about them. And, you know, and, and, and sometimes we have to have discernment. That's where your discernment comes in. Your discernment comes in when you, you, when you have an option from God whether to do it for this person or not. And God will let you know if this person is using you, abusing you, or manipulating, or... Um, they just want you to be doing something, see if they're going to get it. You know, you ever ran into people like that where they always, oh, hey, girl, how you doing? You know, um, well, I was trying to do this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. And they'd be like, hold up. Um, you know, sometimes you, you, you have to look at, you have to look at the person. <laughs> you have to look at the person and what they do sometimes because sometimes they could be, just be out here using folks. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. How are you doing? My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and welcome to Morning Word and Worship. And my topic today is: Are you pleasing pleasing people or God? Are you pleasing people or God? And and the thing is, is that sometimes we can get around in the wrong circles because we get around around the wrong people, doing the wrong things, doing the things not of God when we're in the flesh. You know, um, you know, back in the day, I, I had this thing of I had to please everybody. 
I had to please, you know, you're pleasing everybody. It's like, good morning, good morning, how y'all doing? And pleasing everybody. And it's like, wait a minute, when I'm, when I'm gonna, you know, I had to realize in myself that if it didn't make me happy, I won't gonna do it. You know, some, sometimes you, you come to the, you come to a rationale in your life where you're, you're looking at your life and you're evaluating it. And it's like, wait a minute, I, I thought, I thought, I was happy. I thought I was pleased. I thought this is what I was supposed to be doing. Where I was pleasing everybody. And I was pleasing pleasing this person, pleasing that person. And um I realized I was getting a short end of a stick. And sometimes it's not good to get a short end of a stick because you find yourself you you know, you got the you know, you got the 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 mindset of it becomes a mindset of where you're thinking you know, you you end up feeling alone. You might end up feeling alone for your decisions to helping somebody else out, or you might feel you you know it comes into a fleshly a flesh. It comes into the flesh, and sometimes you can find yourself being becoming bitter and spiteful when you just people please people because you feel like you're getting the short end of a stick. But sometimes you have to realize, look. If that ain't no God, you got to come in with that discernment. You got to ask God, okay, Lord, well, should I do this for this person? Or should I do this? Or he'll just, or God will come and say, yes, help this person. This person is genuine. They have a genuine spirit. They have a genuine uh, need for something. And, you, and you're the vessel that helps them. You're the vessel that helps them to the next, the next level or the next um, project or the, or the next... Um, Whatever's going on with them, you know, and that's the one thing that, you know, I've come to understand that I've had to listen to God. You have, you know, you have to listen to God a lot when it comes to the desires of others, when it comes to the desire of desires of others, you know, whether they're going to be true or they got some gain or they got some con or you know, or they they just they don't um or you you can tell when a person just wants something. Well I, I won't you know, can you just can you get me this? And it's like you know, like really? Like, you know, that's what you want, but you too lazy to go get it yourself. Have you ever met people like that where they want you to run all over the place for them and they don't they, they want you to run all over the place for them, but they got a they they got two legs, they got two feet, they got they got everything work. They 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 have all the activity of their limbs, but they asking you to do stuff. And it's like when you ask them, oh, mm, eh, mm, mm, eh, mm, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Then you have to learn you have to learn how to back off from people that uh that want you to back off from people that tend to do that to you on a on a bit on it. Uh, you you notice that that's their their mannerisms. Well, can you do this for me all the time? But when I ask you, um, yes, I thank you inviting. Thank you for inviting inviting your friends and your followers and and your 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 peeps. You know, thank you for following. Thank you for inviting your friends. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and thank you for coming into Morning Word and Worship. My topic today is. Are you pleasing people or God? Are you pleasing people or God? And the thing is, is we have to get to that place where we have to please God. God, is this what you want me to do? Is this, you know, I've I had to learn how to ask God for everything. I've learned how to ask God for everything, you know, when it comes to what I should say, what I should do, what I should talk about when I come on, uh, when I when I do my when I come and do my programs in the morning, I always ask God, I always discuss it with God of what I should talk about. Good morning, soft, soft to bargain. Okay, is that that I say that right? Thank you for coming in. We always have to have that understanding. We have a relationship with God that if it's please, we have to please God, and we is it is it is it is it. Am I magnifying him? Am I glorifying him? Am I pleasing? Am I doing everything? My deeds, my words, my actions, are they of God? Or am I showing what I'm, am I, am I talking the talk or walking the walk? Because a lot of people, you know, we get out here and they say they say, 
And and they and you know and they they you know I've had this I, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna say it, I've had this happen to me before. Well, people claim that they're saved, but they still doing worldly stuff. And hey, ain't no I, look that you got to go in front of God with that one. So that's another subject for another day. But you have to please God. When I get in front of uh, of you know I'm not I'm not perfect. I'm not I'm not ain't nobody perfect but God. Okay, so you know, you know, we, you know, it's it's this thing of when we find out certain things about folks, we get judgmental, and it's not good to be judgmental. You know, that's another sin that we do. We want to we want to cast the stones at everybody else, but we ain't looking at the glass house we living in. So that's another subject for another day as well. So, are you pleasing people or are you pleasing God? Because sometimes your actions, your deeds, your your conversation. Your your mannerisms, they are they they have this way of they have this way of you know they have this way that sometimes you can offend people and it's not good to offend people. So and the thing is is sometimes we have to be mindful of what we put out there, what how we treat people. Thank you're welcome. Thank you you're welcome. Thank you for coming in my broadcast. Um, and the thing is, is that sometimes we got to, we got to understand that you got to love yourself. You know, when God loves us, we love, when God loves us, that's unconditional. God loves us, that's unconditional. And the thing is, is that, you know, sometimes we have this way of, we have this way of, that we have, that we don't understand sometimes. Sometimes it's good to, to really understand that. So, um, right now, I don't understand the translations. I, I don't understand the translations, and I understand that y'all are talking to each other in my in my scope, and I think that's that's kind of you know I I get it, but um, oh okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the translation, <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming into my broadcast. So like I said. Are we pleasing? Are we pleasing God or are we pleasing people? And sometimes that's that's not a that's that's a hard that's a hard road to, to tarry. Are we pleasing God or are we pleasing people? I want to thank y'all for coming into my broadcast this morning. And I have my friend, 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 Pastor Derek. Uh, my friend Pastor Derek is my my friend. It's just he is. Got so much stuff going on with his music, and and got so much stuff going on. And if y'all have time, you know, if, if you have time, go and check out Pastor Derek Taz. He's on um he's he he um Derek Times group, uh Pat uh you know at Derek D Times. Um he's he's got a Twitter account. You can go to www.derrytimes.com to purchase CCD, which is, uh, I know I'm, I'm watching this morning. Yes, if you get this CD, go get it. If you want a CD, I can, I can send you one, send you one too. It is $15. And you, um, you know, leave me your email address, and I will, I will get in contact with you, and we'll get this out to you as soon as possible. And um, and he has a marvelous CD out. It is, it is off the chain, and uh, it is very well, very, very. You need to listen to it in the morning. You need to listen to it in the morning because it will motivate you for morning, morning word and worship. Sometimes you just listen to a CD and you good with, you know, the spirit. It has a really uplifting spirit tone to the CD. And it's entitled, We Shall Overcome, by Pastor Derek Times out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And if you would like a, like a copy, you can DM me in my Twitter, or Instagram, um, uh, Facebook. You can um, DM me and we'll, you know, leave me your email address and I'll get in contact with you. And, and, and I have a whole stack of these behind me. So you want one, I can send it to you. You know, if you live in Uniontown, here in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, um, 
I will meet you somewhere and you can get this CD, you know, because it's very, very inspirational. It's very powerful and you need to get it, okay? I'm also sitting in, say, saying, look, this is my book. I wanted you to get Coming to Loving Yourself. Coming to Loving Yourself, it is my first published work. First published work. And I would like for you to have it. It's $15. And I wrote this book to save somebody else's life. Because I, I want to tell you a story. And I'm going to tell you the story, but you don't have to stay stuck in your story. You don't have to stay stuck in your past. You don't have to stay stuck at all. So this is very important that you that you read. You read this book because it'll 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 motivate you. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? <coughs> Thank you for joining me. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore. And I would and I would love for you to purchase. Purchase Coming to Loving Yourself. This is my first published work. It's fifteen dollars. You can go to www.sharicenjohnsonmore.com to uh, purchase your book, and I will ship it out to anywhere in the world, international. I ship it all over. So, um, thank you for coming in my broadcast, Perry Poopy. How you doing? Um, I know y'all have these handles and things, but I would love for you to give me your name. My name is Sharice. What is yours? And uh, you can also purchase this book on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Goodreads, and... And I'm and I'm and I am working on an audio book. I'm working on an audio book for this for this for this published work. And um, go check it out. You know, it's 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 really it's it's really 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 inspirational. And um, check out my website. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? I thank y'all for dropping dropping in to my hey clutch. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I thank you. Killer, killer, killer boo. Okay, K killer boo. Okay, did I pronounce that right? So, good morning, everyone. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, author, motivational speaker, gospel artist, and minister. And my topic today was Are you pleasing people or God? Which one are you doing? Are you people? Pe are you people pleasing, or are you pleasing? Are you pleasing God? You know, and um. Sometimes it's good. It's 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 a thing of we want to please people, but some people just not gonna be happy with what you're doing for them. And sometimes you have to ask God for discernment. You have to ask God for discernment on a lot of stuff that you do for do. Period in in life. So <clears throat> keep that in mind for the day. And um, I pray that y'all have a blessed day, and I pray that y'all have a, a vital day, a productive day. A godly day, a, a no hurt harm a day to come your way, and I want y'all to, you know, come in and, um, you know, just have fun, just have just have fun with the word, enjoy it, you know, enjoy. Hello, John. Hello, Benova. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore. And I come on at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and I always, I try to do at least 30 minutes of, 30 minutes of my program, so I, I do it between 6 and 6.30, and then I have another program that I do on Facebook from 7 to 7.30, and I think I will try to go ahead and start my Instagram, Instagram, and, and do it on Instagram as well, because I was, I, you know, I, I was doing this program for a while, and I stopped. And everybody's like, why you stop doing them? Why you stop doing them? So, hey, you know, I got, I, 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 I guess God was saying, look, this is something that you need to continue doing. You know, and I listened to God, so I returned to my morning word and worship program. And a lot of people say they get motivation, they get understanding. They have, uh, they start their day off as better when I come on. And I thank you, and I, I thank everyone. So, I want to say... I love y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, between 6 and 6.30 for Periscope, and 7 to 7.30 for Facebook, and I think I'll start my Instagram back up too, alright, I love y'all, I have a blessed day, bye babies.